I am Anil Kumar and now we will take a few applications of polynomial division. One of the most important application is to factor polynomials. The question here is one factor of, I should write, of x cubed plus 3x square minus 16x plus 12 is x minus 2. Find other factors, right? So that is to say, when you divide this polynomial by x minus 2, remainder will be 0, right? you'll get some quotient and that quotient could be factored to get other factors right so let's begin by long division right that is what we are practicing also let's begin with long division and see what the quotient is so we need to divide x cubed plus 3x square minus 16x plus 12 by x minus 2 right so we'll take care of x cube so we have to multiply by x square the binomial you get x cube minus 2x square then you have to take away these terms so you get 5x square minus 16x now 5x square that means we should multiply the divisor by 5x okay so we get 5x square minus 5 times 2 is 10 we get 10x okay so when you do this subtraction it becomes minus 6x bring down 12 which is plus 12 here to take care of minus 6x I have to multiply by minus 6 minus 6 gives me minus 6x minus minus becomes 12 and remainder as expected is 0 right and therefore we could write this particular function as x cubed plus 3x square minus 6x plus 12 as equal to product of these two that is x minus 2 times x square plus 5x minus 6 so we got one factor one additional factor right x minus 2 was given to us as a factor and we have one more factor now that's a quadratic equation which we can actually factor right so let's factor this also so let's do it on this side x square plus 5x minus 6 we're looking for two numbers whose product is minus 6 and sum of plus 5 right so it is 6 and 1 6 positive so we could write this as x plus 6 times x minus 1 so that is how we could factor this now including this factor here we get our final answer which is x minus 2 times x plus 6 times x minus 1 right so the other factors for us are these two right so these two are the other factors that is our answer correct so we can write our answer and we can say that the factors are x plus 6 x minus 1 and given to us x minus 2 right so that is how such questions can be answered i hope the concept is absolutely clear thank you and all the best